What's up everybody, Dre right back at it again with another video. It has been a minute since the last time I actually posted a video on the channel and that's simply because I've been renovating my house, which has been accelerated due to the termite infestation. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to uh, work on videos. If you would like to know more about it, check out my Instagram. I've been posting a lot of videos and pictures on there talking about the situation and uh, yeah. So today we're gonna be talking about Ready or Not. They just released a newsletter. It is called Update 1901, 2021. New and updated web weapons and level previews. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Introduction. It's the start of a new year for us at Void Interactive and we're hard at work on the game after the holidays. I hope all our supporters had an excellent new year. I'm proud to say that we've reached a ton of engagement and feedback after our last newsletter. And my first, says the community manager, and are taking it to heart. The team sees it and it helps inform how we make our game. In this week's newsletter, we will be showcasing some different level screenshots as well as a preview of both the HK416 assault rifle and the w870 less than lethal shotgun okay cool map previews in our last newsletter we showed some screenshots of the newly revamped hotel in this newsletter we wanted to speak to some of the changes we made the previous iteration of the hotel was bright and elegant but it didn't quite match the tone of what we wanted because of the narrative events that take place within it's important that the levels design and mood match them hotel is darker and landmarks stand out more you'll see the shattered glass of the abandoned gift shop's window a lone statue in the smoke and shadows, gilted archways, and chandeliers. We've altered hotel's layout and its ambience significantly in order to better capture the level's mood. From the moment you step inside, you'll be on edge. We'll see about that. Let's take a look at the picture here. We got, ooh, this hallway looks new. I really don't remember this hallway. There's like a new ATM there. Yeah, this hallway looks completely different from what I remember. Because you guys have to remember that the last time that they updated the hotel map, I believe was back in February. So this all looks completely new to me. The text below the picture says, the gorgeous architecture of hotel Hotel juxtaposed with hints of chaos that lurks further in. So for those of you that don't know, Hotel is a big map. It's not tiny. It's a map that hasn't been updated since around February. Basically been playing it so much that I basically know it inside and out. But now that they show off this newer version of it, I just don't remember this hallway, to be honest. So I think this is either new or they revamped it because it just looks so different from what I remember. Like the hotel that we played in was like a lot brighter, but it seems like with this color palette, they're actually going a lot darker here. Like the hotel that we played in was a lot more brighter and lively but this one looks like the hotel has been abandoned at some point all right let's go to the next picture here we see we got this one's very hard to see maybe because i have a whole lot of light on the other side of my freaking screen Okay, yeah, I had to like close my curtains, but I could definitely see like a little statue right there in the middle Yeah, that's definitely new. I think this is like towards uh, I think I might be breaking NDA if I say where this is But uh, yeah, it's definitely new. I, I don't remember that statue being there at all Kind of reminds me of the statue that we saw in one of their previous trailers Although it's like too dark to really tell if it's the same one or not. But anyways, all right underneath the picture It says don't get caught off guard. The stillness won't last. I'm assuming that's referencing the statue That's right there that you can barely see. What do they mean by that? You know, that kind of reminds me of um, I can't remember if it was in California or if it was in Vegas but uh there were like these statues that would move like every day they would be in like different positions same statue different position I don't know if like they would just like switch them around or what but it was freaking freaky well anyways the picture below it is of two SWAT officers that are facing towards something this might be that bar area that we saw in the previous video because I remember like the green walls is this like another way that you can get into the hotel because I'm reading like the bottom text here and it says a pair of officers confer as they prepare to advance through the hotel tell oh wait that means that they're probably already halfway through right but yeah very cool picture a lot of these pictures are like really dark though before we push on to the next thing here i just want to mention that in the previous picture he's actually holding up the new weapon which is the hk416 i believe this is what it looks like when you have your weapon down it seems but uh yeah let's move on in addition to the hotel port has received some major changes to its layout we wanted to maintain the identity of the level without detracting from its atmosphere rainfall and howling wind will accompany you through the wide open lanes and cramps storehouses. Spotlights reflect distorted images of shipping containers and trucks into gathering puddles. Stay alert and keep your eyes peeled. Every second counts. Underneath the picture it says the rain slick asphalt and bright blue lights set the stage for the night operation. As you can tell there's like a big warehouse there with a bunch of cool lights. Um, I think there's a truck off to the side there but it's kind of hard to see. Uh, again these are like really dark pictures and uh, yeah. I can't really say too much because you know a lot of the stuff that I would be saying kind of breaks NDA but I do remember 
remember this part of the warehouse, but I can't really say for sure what's different about it. I literally have to go and freaking do a side by side comparison. I like the atmosphere of port. I always did like it. It's just, well, if I said that, I think that would be breaking ADA. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool that they're actually showing this off. Uh, they showed off port and hotel before, but they like hardly ever talked about it, you know? All right, moving on to the next picture. We got the same area we got port, and I believe to the right there, that is a giant cruiser ship with a bunch of containers. I don't think we can board that. I believe that's just for show, if I remember correctly, but I don't know. Maybe they might add on to that. Who knows? But as you can see, this is another part of the port map. The port map is pretty freaking big. I can't really explain too much about it, but let's read the text right here. It says, stick to the shadows where you can. One slip and the game's up. Yeah, from what they told us previously, they said that there's going to be like a little bit of stealth in the game, but I don't know if there's like a way to really take people out silently. I mean, I'm sure they could come up with it at some point, but uh, yeah, let's move on to the next thing here. We got the HK416 and the weight 70. I'm going to call it weight because W and A, that's the lethal shotgun. When creating ready or not, we like to look for ways to engage our supporters in order to get their opinion on what they might like to see in the game. Last November, this manifested as a community weapons contest, a competition where our supporters suggested different guns and voted on the ones that they liked the most. I remember that. There was like a variety of weapons that they had and even a bunch of weird ones. The winner of the contest was the HK416, a 5.56 rifle based off of the AR platform that's seen a rapid explosion in popularity with the military and law enforcement agencies around the world. Highly modular, suited for close quarters, and reliable, the HK416 fulfills an important role in any officer's arsenal. Our animators and modelers have done an incredible job of bringing it to life, and we're excited for the players to get it in their hands. Oh baby, look at that. You know, somebody actually showed a picture of this on uh, Discord, and I'm just like, that looks like something from a different game. Now I'm seeing it here, and I'm like, oh shit, this is from Run or Not? Damn. The text below it says, the player chosen HK416 all gamed up, perfect for your CQC needs. Damn skippy. They even have a little video right here. Check it out. Check your ammo reload animation. Shoots a couple of rounds. And then he does a regular reload. Shoots a couple of rounds. Fast reload. And he switches it to full auto. And then I believe that was another fast reload at the end there. Neat. Can't wait to try it out. Too bad there wasn't any audio. Underneath the video, it says HK416 in action. In addition to the HK416, you've also been working on updating Ready or Not's 590A less than lethal shotgun to feel a bit more unique. While we liked how it felt in gameplay, it was lacking the same identity our other weapons have. Thus was born the Weight 70, a less than lethal shotgun that we feel is a worthy successor to what's already available in the game. So wait, are you saying that we're getting two less than lethal shotguns? Cool. I mean, I gotta be honest, like there's not too many less and lethal weapons in the game like you only got a paintball gun a taser and a less than lethal shotgun that's it so you're adding another one to the arsenal that's pretty cool underneath the picture it says the weight 70 less than lethal shotgun in the hands of an operator emphasis on less it still hurts like hell yeah i can only imagine the transformation of ready or not's beanbag shotgun into the weight 70 oh wait it's a transformation or are we getting both i'm a bit confused has two major components a completely new model and the compatibility to add attachments to it you'll still have the same level of coercion firepower as before, but you'll do it with more style and access to optics and accessories, you need to be combat effective. So this top picture is basically showing it without optics, and the bottom one is showing it with a mini scope right there, I forget what it's called, and also an attachment with a, with a light right there. Customization. Underneath this picture it says, I kitted out weight 70, now you can put a myriad of attachments on your less than lethal shotgun, broadening your options on the job, neato. And that concludes this month's newsletter, a preview of both hotel port as as well as the HK416 and the Weight 70. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the newsletter here. Overall, it's a relatively short one, but you know, they packed it as much as they could here. We got to see a new revamped hotel and a new revamped port. I mean, I know that you guys haven't seen what it actually looked like previously because you haven't been able to like play it in the game because you know, you have to have the supporter, but I can tell you that these look different from what we currently have in the game right now. Definitely can't wait to try out the weapons and check out these new maps. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything when it comes to the newsletter. So I'm gonna end it here. What are your thoughts on this update? I think the last one was December? End of December, I think it was. I don't recall. But uh, yeah, I think overall it's a good little update here. But again, you know, let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just said two bucks a month, it really helps. If you're someone that's brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. I cover a lot of tactical games. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.